I'm going to take a few minutes and talk to you about proper stainless care and how it relates to uh, hardware that has been installed already or new hardware that you're putting on your boat. Uh, and one of the problems with previously installed hardware uh, that hasn't been properly bedded uh, is that we'll have a, what we call the ring of fire. It will be bleeding or rusting. Uh, so what we want to talk to you about uh, is a few things that you can do to help uh, alleviate that and prevent it from happening, uh, whether you're installing new hardware, like I say, or removing exis existing hardware uh, and cleaning it up and putting it back properly. So stainless steel products by name are stainless. They're not stain free. So now we're going to review the steps to help keep your stainless steel products looking shiny and stain free. Perfect. So the first thing you're going to do is remove the hardware from your boat and clean the area with a rust cleaner that's intended for fiberglass use. Then you're going to take that stainless hardware and you're going to clean it with Super Stainless, which is a product that we offer on our website uh, that's the best and what we recommend for cleaning your stainless products. So after you get your hardware clean, you're going to want to properly bed it uh, with a bedding material. Uh, which we offer in our gem installation kit here uh, and we highly recommend and endorse the 3M product uh, 4200 to bed the product and get it back down to help prevent that rusting process and bleeding from underneath. Use the proper fasteners to put your hardware back on your boat. We recommend using our gem installation kit which offers uh, a variety of chrome plated stainless products that will work in just about any application you have when reinstalling hardware back on your boat. And for everyday maintenance of your stainless steel products, we recommend just soap and water and drying them off to keep them looking shiny and new.